David Snell here with executiverestoration.com, got mold, we have the cure.com. And what I'm going to be discussing here is have you ever had a claim on your homeowner's insurance for your home? And if so, did you ever get a public adjuster? Okay. Now, the insurance company has their own adjuster. You need, in other words, the insurance company has their own representation. You need your own representation. Okay. And the difference um, that we're going to be talking about is what's the difference between a public adjuster and an insurance company adjuster? Now, I'm not being critical here of anyone. I'm just going to explain the difference. So we'll say ABC Insurance Company. I don't think there's an insurance company called that, but we're going to use that as an example. So ABC Insurance Company has their own adjuster. Now, what an adjuster is, is they come out, they assess the damage, and they say, okay, we're going to give you X amount of dollars for that, uh, for that claim. Well, the public adjuster works for the homeowner or policyholder. So my point to you is when you file a homeowner's claim, you might want to get your own representation, somebody who's going to look out for your best interest. Not the insurance company's best interest, but your best interest. Um, so the insurance company has their own adjuster, and they work for the insurance company to look out for their, for their own needs and save their insurance company money. Okay, That's their job. Um, now, you need to have your own representation. And they're called public adjusters. Now, they will look out for your uh, best interest. So they're going to be working for you. And what they typically do is not some, uh, I should say some of them typically do, is they will take a percentage of the claim. Now, I'm not a public adjuster. Um, I do not refer any public adjusters. But you can look online. You can look in the phone book. Uh, you can ask friends, but get a public adjuster when you file a claim or before you file a claim with your insurance company because they will look out for you. So you need your own representation. So uh, my next question is, and you, and some of you might be wondering why, why do I need my own representation? Well, I think that's real simple. And would you represent yourself going to court? Probably not. Um, although some people do represent themselves in court. But you need your own representation. The insurance company has their own representation. So the insurance company is going to do everything they can to to save, it. Not not all insurance companies, but some insurance companies are going to do everything they can to save as much money on the claim as possible. And sometimes this even, this even means saying no to a claim. Uh, I have personal experience where the insurance company said no to my claim. And um, that wasn't proper. In other words, the claim was valid. So make a long story short. So you need representation. You need help. Um, so I hope this little bit has helped you and, and assisted you in some way. And like I said, I'm not here to poo-poo any insurance company. I'm not here to poo-poo uh, public adjusters. I'm not here to poo-poo uh, private adjusters. Um, so I'm just here to educate and inform and to get others to think and keep your eyes wide open. And uh, thank you so much. This is David Snell with executiverestoration.com. Got mold. We have the cure.com. Thank you.